everyone, it has been such a while ago, you know, I completed my Baker Orchestral template, the so-called bot, using Logic and the Ensemble Pro. I've let you see all problems I've encountered along this process, workarounds I've found to make all this very, very big orchestral template working smoothly and fine. So now it's time to test it, right? Stick around. So everything is now pretty much ready to start, right? Computer, devices, MIDI controller, keyboard, HDs and SSDs. Logic and Vienna Ensemble Pro are loaded up too. So let's begin to compose a really short music in the genre of orchestral comedy cartoon. I just want you to follow my Logic session from start to the very end. I mean composing from scratch, mixing, bouncing, preparing the stamps and delivering the project. So you can find everything you need to understand how I created my big orchestral template in Vienna Ensemble Pro and Logic in the description here down below where I put all the links to the right playlist where I have discussed this topic just in case you know uh, you want to go really deep inside that stuff. Unfortunately, not all the videos of this playlist are in English, some of them are in Italian, but plus, if you are really in deep trouble with them, just let me know, you know, um, make a question, post a comment, and I'll try to help you as much as I can. Lastly, I don't know how long this video would come out at the end, but you can follow the timestamps here down below so you can jump forward, come back, whatever you want, okay? So everything's fine and clear. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start. So welcome, my lovely lads, to this big orchestral template, where I've put, I think, the main part of my sample libraries, my sounds, my orchestral samples inside of it. I've got many, many others, but these are just the main uh, sounds, the main sample libraries I use from Contact. Contact. So let's begin to compose something from scratch. Oh my gosh, it doesn't sound. So just enable it. Right. Uh, for those who are wondering how I do that, I'll let you see. This sound of, of letters is right here, right? And I have to uh, enable it because otherwise, by default, I set all these sounds just disabled. Okay, you see, right? All these sounds from any instance here in Vienna Summer Pro are just disabled for, I mean, uh, consuming less uh, uh, size of CPU and, uh, and RAM. So in just in case I want to uh, listen, hear this sound, the pizzicato, you have to um, press the last key of my keyboard and voila. Okay, let's go. Just a little bit more BPM, like 130. This way. Let's save. Oh, uh, by the way, I've named this project Hurry Boy, if you like it. Oh, by the way, this composition mixing part, I think, sorry for that, 
uh, will be almost a silent thing, you know. But if you want to stay with me, I just want to make an intro, a different intro, like. Um, Okay, thanks. And go down. Oh, sorry, forgot to wear my glasses. Because you know, in the last year, I've lost my superhero sight. Just want to say that I used to mix. Sorry, um, I used to mix along the way I compose because I consider the mixing process a really creative one. I mean, um, you can be deeply influenced in your writing the music by whatsoever mixing plugin you load up in your session. If that makes sense, right? Isn't it? So uh, that's uh, the reason why I uh, collapsed these two different processes, uh, composing and mixing, because for me they are to be performed and uh, thought in the same uh, moment, in the same part. So now it's, it's time for composing, but also in the meantime, time for mixing. <laughs> Just get rid of this part here. Balala room. Oh, by the way, this will be an almost uh, one minute long, uh, very short and simple and basic music since it will go in the background music of some TV program, TV shows, um, we can go really, we can work in the mixing uh, and also in the composing part really uh, simple, really basic and roughly, right? Let's think now of some chords. The good old gentleman. Compressor, no, my plugins, compressor, uh, CLA seventy six. I have got an idea now. The Vodafone. One stick, two sticks. Let's try to record some Vodafone. Right. Thank you. 
let's go for sorry for keys because in keys inside keys we have I don't remember the many 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 sounds I've inserted in my template that's a problem that's a big 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 problem animator right here animator okay this is the guy I want <laughs> some good old symbols. Okay, let's listen again. That's my CPU, sorry, I'm recording. Just a little bit of balala reverb. Bum, bum, bum. Right. Let's try for Chimbasso. Just want to load a uh, sound, which would be like uh, I don't know. I don't remember if the, it's this one. No, it was. Um, I think noisy, like city night. Yeah, but probably. to cut just a bit of high hand here. Mm. 
Where is here? Yeah. Almost two years ago, I have uh, created a macro, a macro operation with a software called Keyboard Maestro. And I have set it up in the way that just pressing one, I mean one single key button, the whole process of exporting STEM uh, divided in uh, orchestral sections will be totally automatic. Just have a look. So I press this key on my MIDI controller. This window is prompting up and tell me what music genre are you bouncing? Generic, comedy orchestral, act dance. This is intended to be comedy orchestral, so just check it out. Press OK. Then, stem bouncing step 2, please choose your stems. Full mix, strings, woodwinds, brass, drums, keys, vocals. So I want full mix. Uh, I want strings. We have no woodwinds inside of this music, so leave it alone. Brass, drums and keys. And then look what happened. Go for it. It is bouncing the full mix in this moment, this very moment, and now is the time for the string section. Right? Then I'll let you see where we put in the right folder, in the right uh, files, the right stamps files with the right names. I mean, it's just amazing thanks to myself oh by the way i put the link of this uh, keyboard maestro macro in the description here down below as well brass just done and then drums doing nothing you see totally automated and last but not least keys just have a look in this folder we have the folder of, of this project which is called this song hurry boy this is the logic <coughs> name file then we have xx is ita italian comedy orchestra quirky orchestra hurry boy full mix these are all the names of my colleagues who uh, are intended to earn money from that as well uh, like me so we have full mix solo brass, solo drums, solo keys, solo strings. The right name, the right title, the song in the right folder. And now welcome to the part three, which is creating the score of this song. So I wanna have this uh, depth which stands for deposito which means I have to create in this track the main MIDI notes the main MIDI melody or accompaniment in order to have at the end of the story the full right uh, score of this project in the way that I can copyright it right so let's listen to that These regions are good enough here. So then we have probably these two guys here, which are containing the main melody. This one. 
Oh, and this song is very simple, this process. Sometimes it takes much longer because you have to choose what is uh, the right region to copy in the in this track. And last but not least, these join. I can erase this guys here to make it even cleaner. Okay, now for printing, we should tell logic we found ourselves in the rear <laughs> tonality of D minor, right here. Then I press the second button and look what happened. No hands at all, just automatic. It loads up Sibelius and if you are really lucky, we should see the final score. This one. Then it is just a matter of uh, changing some little aspect of this uh, graphic format of this layout of the score. And we have to leave eight bars, totally empty bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are to delete. Right. Then in the last one, we should insert the tonal note or tonal key of this song, which is D, obviously. These are all instructions which uh, my music library editor told me. Uh, I mean, these are not obviously not uh, intended for you, for every single music you, uh, you want to print. Printing of the PDF from Sibelius. I'm pressing right now the third button and look what happened. Boom. And it has whimsically placed this PDF in the right folder. And this is the PDF. It's almost night here, it's a little bit longer this video, but anyway, we have composed from scratch, exported the stamps, created the score, converted the score in Sibelius in PDF, and now we want to have in our desktop here, these guys here, sorry, I have to let you see what I'm doing, we want to uh, try to export this folder in our desktop without this logic project which is obviously the most uh, uh, heavy one in this folder so now we uh, want to check the folder with the name of our song her boy then I'm going to press the fourth button here and look what happened Ta -da! We have in our desktop this folder which is containing all the files of the folder. So just the files which are intended to be delivered to our editor and even more. We have the zipped compressed file of this folder here, right? It should be really helpful, I think, for anyone who wanna spare, you know, uh, it's time done, waste it for composing, exporting stamps, create the score, and uh, preparing for delivering. If you have any question, if you wanna help uh, from me at least as much as I can, 
I will do for sure. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye. Take care.